Welcome back boots. Today we're making a lace closure wig from a lace frontal wig. I use the front part of the wig lines as a guide for the closure to ensure that it is centered properly. When placing the wig cap on the mannequin head, some are comfy with sewing the closure with it being that low. I don't recommend this when making a lace frontal because there are specific measurements you need to work with. Um, but with a lace closure, you can't go wrong. So I'm very a visual person, so I need it slightly higher to know that what I'm doing is looking correct and I see the vision crystal clear. You feel me? Place my closure slightly forward from where the wig cap starts. This part, most of you watching will have already known this or you do this. And for some of you, this might be your first actual video on how to create this look. If it is, I'm so happy to be sharing this with you. Hope you learned everything you need to create your own lace closure wig. And I'd love to know how it came out after watching my video. So let me know down in the comments and definitely subscribe and become a boo. But yeah, depending on how low you'd like the hairline to start is where you'd set the closure. But keep in mind you don't want it too low because after you cut the cap underneath the lace, it, pretty, it, it will be pretty far from the rest of the cap and it may not look proper when you put it um, like on your head so you want to secure the lace closure with some pins and what I'm doing here as I sewed is at the end I like to give it a three loops around the needle to really secure that in place when I cut that thread so it's not going anywhere using the hair from the lace frontal to create this look the hair is freshly washed and air dried to not get overwhelmed, I start by cutting out the first bundle to use to start sewing. Also, I use a 20 inch closure and the bundles are two 20 inches, 22 and a 24 inch honey. Start with a 24 bundle doubled and I place the needle through both weft before attaching it to the cap itself for max maximum secureness. On this part of the dome cap, you really want to make sure the needle goes through the mesh and not the band to avoid reduced elasticity. So all I'm doing is just sewing this row to row um, and then I'll show you guys how I double it over without cutting it until I reach that point where I have to cut it. <laughs> just a little background history. I got into making wigs about two years now. I made my first wig in July of 2017. Let me tell you guys, it took me about 12 or more hours to finish a lace closure wig. I kid you not, but I was so determined to finish it. I remember that day clearly as ever. And since then, like it didn't um, discourage me. It just made me more amped to learn this art. And I've been in love with this ever since. So if this is something that you'd love, in the beginning, you might get it, finish it in like a few hours. It might be easy peasy for you. But if it does take time in the beginning for you, like do not give up, keep practicing, find your own way of how you make your wigs and then what's more, how you make it and how it's comfortable for you to make it. And I'm telling you, it really does get easier with time if you keep practicing, keep practicing. So about this part, my camera did die and I'm working on that so that way I can really show you guys everything that I do. But I still show you how I continue at the top and I try to get everything um, covered at this point. I'm so used to making wigs in my lap. This was torture doing this for you guys, but I mean, I really loved every part of it just because I wanted to show you guys how I do it. Um, but it was hell making it on the actual stand. I don't know how you guys do it. For those who make wigs on the stand, I commend you guys, but I still, whew, I just love making it in my wigs. It's just so much easier for me and um, that's why like I'm even using like the T-pin to guide me through because it was just a mess, a mess, a mess. So this part right here, I wanted to show you guys what just passed. If like you loop the thread through and it didn't like tie, you can just pass the needle through that tread and just pull through and it would give the same effect. Feel free to rewind back to see what I meant uh, with what I just described. Also, it's very convenient to have at least like three or more needles already threaded so you can just keep going. Okay, so when making a wig, there will come a time where the hair will end. It could be perfectly at the end of the row, in the middle of the row, or right before the end of the row. So don't panic. As long as you have more hair, it shall be fair, okay? All you have to do is start directly where the bundles ended with the new bundle and continue flowing, sewing, your rowing. Also, if I didn't mention it clearly, at every end, at every beginning and at every end of the bundle, 
you want to make sure you have maximum security so when you make that first loop like you go through and then you go through again to make that loop you want to tie that thread around that needle a good amount of times before pulling it through again to make sure that it really locks down everything that i am using will be listed down in the description box i got you this row my webs are still doubled however i did start to cut them because when you reach to the front you can't do the flip over method um, for flawless reasons if you get what I mean so you're gonna see at the end of this row I do start cutting the webs still keeping it doubled as I go through row by row When you do like your triple knots, sometimes when you pull it through, it can get, it doesn't go down smoothly. Do not cut the thread. Honestly, just take the needle, go from underneath, open it up, loosen it up, put your finger through and just slightly close it down again to get a smooth finish without having to waste thread. So as you can see from the front, we're kind of closing in, but in the middle, there's still a big gap. So when you go around with your weft, you want to, like as you start going around, you kind of want to bring that higher. So it's going to balance out in the end when you put in that last few rows. At this point, I am doing single wefts going around and my battery did die again. Please guys, <laughs> please bear with me. We're working on it. So with this, I'm going to continue going from row to the temple and then I'm just going to close up the middle with single rows going from across to across. And then you're going to see her on Classic Naomi how she turns out after I straighten it. And there she is, guys. She is so beautiful. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and turning on your notification alerts. Be blessed always, and always thank you for your support. Ciao, guys. Till the next one.